In this video, I am recording off my computer. It's, I know it's bad quality, but you're going to want to go ahead and we have my download directory. I just got our game. You're going to double click your game. You want to extract this ISO. To do that, you actually have to pull the ISO out. I'm just going to throw it with the rest of my Xbox games here. And I'm going to go ahead and extract this here into this directory. And then now we're going to run the Xbox GUI program. And we're going to extract this ISO into the game format. You want all your games to be in this type of format where it's extracted. And then what we'll do is we'll copy the game to our USB drive and play it off the USB. It's just that simple. I uh, will show you how to do it. Just know it takes a little while to extract the game and it's gonna take a little longer also to extract the ISO. Once you have your ISO, you wanna click on Extract GUI and now we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and the input's gonna be our ISO file. So I'm covering my finger. We're gonna to wanna to select Extract here and we're gonna, the input's gonna be the ISO and the output's gonna be the folder. Let me set that up right now. Notice I'm gonna select the fuel ISO as our input. And then output, you actually wanna keep the name really short and sweet. Again. We're gonna go, I'm putting it to my 360 drive, just hit okay. And I'm just not gonna give it a name and I'm just gonna hit go. And it says we like an output director, I'm gonna say no. And then it will pull all the information and extract it for you. It pulls this out of a window and we'll see when it's done. As you see it's done here, what I recommend doing is now we wanna rename the file. We don't want the file name to be very long. And to do that, I'm actually pressing F2 on my keyboard and I'm gonna delete all this information. You wanna keep the name as basically as short as humanly possible. Even Wolverine, X-Men's Revenge is too long of a name. Keep the characters very low because when you transfer, you're going to have issues with character limitation. I think it's 32 bits. So now we have the fuel game. Now we'll go ahead and just copy this over to our USB and we'll be able to play this off our USB on our RGH or bad. Up there it is. We're going to go ahead and copy it to USB. This is actually very simple. I'm going to go ahead and copy fuel to our formatted USB. It's uh, just a USB drive. It's going to take a lot longer because it's a slow USB. So just bear with it. It takes a very long time to transfer it to a USB. So just bear with it. What I want to do is insert your USB. I'm using a USB extension. This is my RGH. Modern Warfare, and we have our console here. You're gonna go ahead and press the back button. You're gonna go into File Manager, press A. And if your USB does detect and work, it will come up here as USB zero. My camera is not focused. There it is, finally. So you go to USB zero, press B. And then you notice our game fuel. I didn't even format this drive. Um, I just I stick a different one. So we're going to the fuel directory. And you can just launch it by doing the XB file. If I could uh, do it on one finger, it's default X, XT, the seven megabyte one. All the games have the same ones. They have a whole bunch of files here. You just have to launch the default file. The default XETA, you're gonna hit B, and then it will launch the game. As you see me doing it. And we got the game running, that's how we do it. 